kids, it's Hannah Banana here, and you're back for another exciting lesson. Today, we're going to be making judgments. Are you ready? Let's go. To make judgments as readers, we must do some special things. Can you remember from our first lesson, what are some of those special things we need to do? Can you remember how many special things we need to do? I think I heard it. If you said three, you're correct. First, we must ask questions. As you read your story, I want you to think about the characters and ask yourself, what kind of choices did the characters make? Were they good or were they bad? What were the actions of the characters? Were they fair or unfair? Second, make connections. As you read your story or your text, see if there are anything similar in the text to what you have experienced in your lives today. Third, form an opinion. An opinion is what you think, what you feel, or what you believe about a situation in the text. Now, let's get practicing. You're gonna read the passage and click the best answer for each question. I want you to read first. Always remember, before you answer your questions, try and read your story, your passage, or your text at least twice. Can you find the title of the story? Awesome job, it's the perfect boost. The perfect boost. Bahamian track star Chantel Miller is super fast. She usually comes first in every race. What gives Chantel that boost to run so fast? I work out for one hour before my race, says Chantel. But first, I eat a bowl of conch salad. Conch is a good source of protein, vitamin E, and B12. Conk also supplies small amounts of iron and potassium. This tasty dish is made raw as a salad with lots of vegetables. So if you want to be speedy like Chantel Miller, have a bowl of conk salad before your race. Now I'm gonna read the story again and I want you to read it with me. Are you ready? Okay, the perfect boost. Bahamian track star Chantel Miller is super fast. She usually comes first in every race. What gives Chantel that boost to run so fast? I work out for one hour before my race, said Chantel. But first, I eat a bowl of conch salad. Conch is a good source of protein, vitamin E, and B12. Conk also supplies small amounts of iron and potassium. This tasty dish is made raw as a salad with lots of vegetables. So if you want to be speedy like Chantel Miller, have a bowl of conk salad before you race. You'll be able to go back to this story and read it at any time you please, but let's click to go to the questions. What is the best reason to eat conch salad before a race? Is it A, conch salad is a tasty dish, B, you might win something, or C, conch salad is a good source of protein, iron, and potassium? I heard the answer C. Let's see if you got it. You're absolutely correct. Good job, boys and girls. Let's go to the next question. Conk definitely is a good source of protein, vitamins, and all those healthy things that Chantel needs to get her body ready for that race and to stay healthy. Question number two. Which item from the passage is an opinion? Remember now, an opinion is what you think, what you feel, and what you believe. Can you find me the idea from the passage that is an opinion? Is it A, Chantel usually wins her races? B, Kong salad is a tasty dish? Or C, Chantel works out for one hour before a race? 
A. Let's see if you got it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You're incorrect. You should try again. You can go back to the story and read it again, or you can return to the question. That answer is incorrect. Because you can prove if Chantel wins her races or not by looking at the scores and the reports. Remember, an opinion is what you think, what you feel, and what you believe. It can't be proven. Question two, which item from the passage is an opinion? A, Chantel usually wins her races. B, conch salad is a tasty dish. Or C, Chantel works, for, works out for one hour before a race. I heard the answer B. Let's see if you got it. Oh, wow, that's awesome. You're absolutely correct, boys and girls. Conch salad is a tasty dish is an opinion. And guess what? Some persons may disagree and some may agree with you. That's what makes it an opinion. It's just something that you feel, not necessarily something that someone else feels, thinks, or believes. Let's go to the next question. Question number three, the author's purpose. In this passage, the author's purpose is to a, persuade you to eat conch salad. B, give you information about the Bahamas. Or C, tell a funny story about an athlete. Did you say C? Oh no, that's incorrect. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to try again. There was nothing in that story that really made us laugh or entertained us. So the author was not trying to tell a funny story. Let's try again. Did you say A, persuade you to eat conch salad? Let's see if you got it. You're correct. That's amazing, boys and girls. Let's keep it going. Question number four. What can you tell about Chantel from the passage? A, Chantel is chubby and unhealthy. B, Chantel is a great at swimming, or C, Chantel is healthy and in shape. I heard C, let's see if you got it. You did it. What an awesome job. Chantel most definitely has to be in shape, fit and healthy because she's very speedy and she's winning most of her races. Guess what boys and girls? We're all done. You have done an amazing job today. Great, and that was so cool. Did you enjoy the lesson? If so, I'd like you to add me or follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Wena J or at Classic 242. I had so much fun. Let's do it again.